I'm Josephine. I live in Kipsongosland, that's Kitale. Uh, I live with my mother when I was two years old. Then my mother never treated me in a good way, like drinking alcohol, beating us. Sometimes, most of the times, we stay without food. And so my mother practiced with prostitutions. So I used to go and get some men for me, like being married when I was young. So I didn't like such a thing. So I, the man, one day the man came to our home and talked to my mom and gave her dowry. So when he gave out, like they, my mother decided to give me out. So the man took me to his house, like it's a nylon house. And we, I stayed there for the first time and it was really difficult. So. Like the man tried to rape me, such a thing. So I escaped. While I was escaping, he hold me and light the house. So the house was being light and it burned my leg. So I escaped while I was on motion. My leg was burned. So that's that's when I stay, I decided to go to street and stay there. One day I was in street. It was at lunchtime. So I was going to the garbage looking for food and I saw a person who was really coming and stood aside of the road and told me hey wait there then I was really scared because I've never seen I never trusted no one in the street so I decided to run away I ran and I stood aside and he called out and I was really afraid so I couldn't go so he called out some kids there he gave out food and clothes. So when I saw kids having food, so I decided also to run. And they told me that Mr. Muli is the one giving out food. So I went there. After arriving, you could see children running up and down saying, Mr. Muli, Mr. Muli. So all the street children come. And also we do play with them football. We do preach and also socialize and also talk to them as counselors. And uh, also, it's their brothers because we have go gone through the street. Uh, we know what challenges they go through. When Mr. Muli saw me, he was with Dixon Mackenzie there giving out food. So I arranged line like the rest of the kids there, and he gave me food, and I sat down just crying but eating it because I was hungry. And then he he told me that I have to to be quiet because it's just okay, it's going to help me. I cried a lot at that time, so he couldn't stop me from crying. I cried a lot, I hold him, and he told me that I have to be quiet, it's going to help me. She was very open, she talked to us uh, openly, she said everything about their home, and we were actually fortunate to go talk to some of uh, her relatives who actually were careless, drunkards, and uh, all sorts of bad m people. So actually after explaining her problems, we noticed that she was uh, among the needy people that uh, we really needed to take him to MCF. So he took me to the pickup with the rest of, with Dixon Mackenzie, Etabo, big brothers who have finished their education. So I w it was really interesting because he took me there and while I was there, I really vomited. So he took one of his shirt and gave it to me. So I think I have the shirt till now, but it's really old. So, but I still like the shirt because it shows a lot of expression and love that dad showed to me.